Simba. Simba, say hi. Oh, Simba's running away. <laughs> oh, you're gonna eat grass, okay. Hey there, welcome to Createful Art. Today, I'm gonna show you how to paint a cute little kitty cat. This one's a little bit different than Simba, but it's like Simba. Huh. This is your sister or your brother. <laughs> but you can learn how to paint any type of cat in this video. When you become a member, you can get the reference photo to help you paint along. So go ahead and click right over here or in the description and grab that reference photo and let's get started. So for this tutorial, you're gonna need an eight by eight inch canvas, paper or panel. You can do this in any size that you wish though. Just realize that if you go bigger, it's gonna take a little bit longer than this tutorial. Then you're gonna need these colors, which I have listed in the description. Cadmium yellow, bronze yellow, cadmium red light, magenta, thalo cyan blue, brilliant blue, Payne's gray or ivory black, and titanium white. These colors we have already mixed for this season. You can get the color mixing video and mix along with me right over here when you become a member. Then you can just paint from the get-go. And then I just use a few brushes which I just got done with a painting. So I just use a flat half inch brush. This is a pellet knife for mixing. I use a wash brush and I'll use that for the background mostly. And then a size eight round and a detail brush, which is a size zero. Then you want a paper towel and you're gonna want some clean water. I'm gonna make this clean. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna choose a background color. Now you don't wanna do something that's too dark so that your kitty's not gonna stand out or something that is too light if you have a light kitty that it's not gonna stand out. So, so I'm gonna be using purple and a little bit of my pink color. And I'm just gonna cover this background. I'm not gonna worry about it being all one color. I'm gonna play have fun, get the colors in there, have some darker purple, have some lighter purple. It doesn't really matter wherever you put it. Once your canvas is dry, then you can sketch your kitty. I'm just going to be using a light color for this. So give yourself just a little bit of room from that edge. And I'm not worrying about it being perfect. This is all gonna be filled in. The head part is just about that big compared to its body. So you want this to come up like that. And then it comes in and about halfway here is about halfway. So this is about as big as its neck and body. So I'm just, that's how I'm doing this freehand is I'm just giving myself an idea of where these things need to go. And then I can always adjust or go over my background or quickly wipe this off. Goes diagonal right through here, comes up, and then you have the cat ears. So see, I wanna make sure I have those cute ears. So I'm gonna make that shape of the ear and it's gonna almost hit the top right there. Then this goes slanted right through here. Not much. And then you have this other ear poking up behind. This is the eye brow right through here. So it goes in with the ear. And then the eye is right here. So I'm making a almond shape. Comes in through like that with a poke. And then there's this little line right here and you have a little nose because this kitty is looking up. And then you have this part of the face, which is mostly behind this little nose. I'm gonna grab some black just so that I know that this is the nose right through here. It's the eye and the nose. Comes down like that. And then 
there's this cute little face comes around like that now I'm gonna grab my white again and I'm gonna go through here so you really can't see this eye right through here but there is a black dot basically so you can do that right there just to make yourself happy <laughs> To make sure that the face comes in like that. A little bit of a neck. And the breast comes out like this. Then it goes in where the feet are. And you have this right here comes up to that feet and this back end right here is part of the tail which comes like this right there and you can decide if this is the right shape I'm going to give it some fuzz going back there this comes in This is just the stripes, giving myself an idea on the stripes here. <laughs> and this is the breast and it's mostly white. So that is how you can sketch a kitten just really loosely. And then you can make little adjustments as you're painting. So now I'm gonna make the adjustments and I'm gonna do that while I'm painting. So I'm gonna grab the white and the white is mostly right in here right along this neck. Now I'm going to go in the direction of the fur. So when it's going up, I'm going to be going up. And I'm not going to worry about the purple showing. Right? When it gets fuzzy, I'm going to take a lot off my brush and just pull it out. They're little fuzzy creatures. Soft. To get that soft look, you gotta have a, a lot less on your brush. You gotta let it just fuzz over that purple color. here. The tail has these hairs that come straight out. You just want to do that with your brush so slightly. And then I grab my black and I start getting in that gray tone. That pushes it away from the purple. Grab the black and add a little bit more in there. in the direction always of the fur. So back here it's at its blackest and the fur goes down like this. So you're going to have some of those trailing off fuzzies. And then it just starts getting gray again. to that gray. So I told you there were stripes in here. So you're going to follow those stripes with the black. So I'm going to just follow this stripe right here. And follow this stripe right here. And follow this stripe right here. And notice how sometimes it's thicker in places 
or it's thinner. It's barely noticeable right here that there's this line of black. There's a little black right here. So you're just adding where the black is, where the white is, in the direction of the fuzz fur. <laughs> And then when it goes to gray, you just grab your gray, you add it in. You want to make sure that it's the right color though. If it's too light, then you don't want that. So you have to adjust your value. So I'm not going to show you every little brush stroke with this just because it's kind of monotonous. But every once in a while you want to come back in over your gray with a little bit of the black. And once your paint starts to dry and if it starts to look a little bit wiry like that, you just take off the paint from your brush and soften it like this. scrubbing it. See how that softens it? Makes it look a little less wiry. Okay. So I'm going to fill in this area and I'm going to follow the colors and I'm going to follow the values and I'm going to follow the direction of the fur. Now if you want to learn how to paint anything you want, you need to go get my art lessons. They're going to teach you all these things and then let you practice them in my tutorials. That's what these tutorials are for is to give you practice but without the knowledge that artists know um, it's hard to become a better artist. So you need to know all the practical stuff that artists know so that they can get the looks that they want. And then you just practice, practice, practice and then you literally can paint whatever you want. See how easy it was just to scrub in that color? Don't need a lot on your brush. might seem a little bit raggedy right now, but this is just the first layer. So there's a lot of really soft fur right through in there. So I want to just get it in. Right underneath this mouth. Then I have to come back in because usually they have some dirt right there. Just come right back over it. Comes right in through here. A nice stripe. A nice another stripe through here. Gray right through here. Just gotta make sure that I have the fur in the right angle. So right here is not the right angle. It needs to go out like this. All right. So around the face, there's a little bit of pink. There's a little bit of yellow. So I'm just gonna add in that pink and a little bit of the yellow. 
and I'm really not worried about this being realistic. It's going to be impressionalistic, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Very white right here on this ear. And very white right here. And then very pink right in here. I'm going to put a little bit of dark red right in here. So it's really getting there. Right, so for the details, I'm going to get in this light blue eye. Right. So right now, there's nothing outlining that eye. So there needs to be something to outline it. Otherwise, it just kind of looks like a blue crazy. So I'm going underneath the eye with the black. I'm going to go above the eye with a little bit more black, like a black um, eyelash thing. It comes in here. Outline, outline, outline. And I'm just looking at the shapes from my reference photo here. And then I'm going to grab some white. It has this white right here in this corner. And then there's this slanted black line right there. We're getting closer. So the final details is where it really comes together. So you have these little fuzzy fine things. Fur, fuzz, <laughs> fur. And I'm doing this with my detail brush and no water on my brush. very little paint. I talk about this technique in my art lessons. Okay, and then I'm gonna put some fur. Oh, I had too much on my brush. See how, see how it did that? Just take it off and I'll drag that. See how I made fur in the ear? Just by going over that. A little bit more on my brush. I'm going to make some fine lines through here. I'm going to add a little bit of pink just right here on this edge, this ear. And the rest is gray, like a gray pink. Now a little bit more black right through here, just for a little bit of dimension. Now, every once in a while I'm going to take off all the paint on my brush just to get that paint that's gotten up here out. Then I'll grab my color. Gives me a little more control. Now, I'm going to add a highlight to that nose right here. All right, and remember how I said there was this little line of black? Just give it that little line. It'll make a little more sense right there. So I'm going to go right up against the mouth here. I'm going to have some whiskers coming up. all these like little funny funny little whiskers coming out of this cat just little fuzzy hairs <laughs> it's pretty cute actually so what I can do is I can just soften it by scrubbing some of the color away so it's not so pronounced 
see how I lighten that. And just be very loose with the whiskers. Don't make them all the same. Let them be the crazy that they are. And it really starts looking actually pretty darn realistic, even though you haven't done every single detail, just because you're making some of it have the right texture. Now you're gonna put those whiskers right up against this black. And I'm gonna make these curved. Come in. See how that one's kind of a little bit more perfect. So I'm starting at the end where I want it to go. Come in. If it's too thick, then I just take my finger, wipe away some of it so it's not so pronounced. And I'm just going to finish this area. And it's so fuzzy. It's so cute. So it's just... And then it's easy to go over and soften this once you have a few more layers in there. So I just come in here, soften that area. Thing is, the colors, the soft fuzzy fur goes out like this. This is the last step where you come in and you make little changes to it so that it's the way you like it. Now, if you want to add more fuzz, and you just make sure you have most of the color off of your brush and then pull in the direction. If you want to be a little more realistic, then just copy a picture a little bit more. Copy the values, copy the textures. If you want it to be more loose, don't worry about that. And then once you're done with your details, then you are done with your painting. Good job. I hope you learned a lot from this tutorial and you had a lot of fun. If you want to learn more about art and learn how to paint, go ahead and click right over here to get weekly art lessons. They're going to help you become a better artist so that you can paint whatever it is you want. Also, you can watch more videos. I have a lot more pet videos you can watch and just other fun videos that you might be interested in watching and you can learn more. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!